Aubrey from Vitality Fitness and Wellness and I'm popping in here real quick today to talk to you about the balance exercises that will help you to make sure you are safe, especially if you've been recently diagnosed with osteoporosis. It's really important for us to improve our balance and to have top-notch balance. Um, having a um, osteoporosis or being at risk for osteoporosis, you may have some brittle bones and if you happen to have a fall, you are at more at risk for a fracture. So it's really important to stay um, really up there with your balance and make sure you have the best balance possible. So balance is complex. It's not just standing on one foot. There's a lot of factors that go into balance. We want to make sure that we address all of those factors. You want to be working on your strength through strength training. You need to work on your mobility through some gentle stretching. You need to make sure that you um, have good vision. You're working, you have the best glasses or the best vision available because vision makes up a third of our balance. Um, and then as well as practicing some of these exercises for our balance. So we want to go through those exercises today. I'm going to give you a few examples of exercises that will help to build your balance. So balance, as I said, is not just standing on one foot. We want to make sure that we can react and, and, and our body can adjust if we lose our balance. So if we lose our balance just a little bit, our body will weight shift. Our body will weight shift from our hips, our knees, and our ankles to adjust and bring us back on track. So you can start with some simple weight shifting exercises, side and side. I like to do one where I have you bend, shift your body weight over here like you're picking the weeds and then shift all the way up and over and toss them over your neighbor's fence. <laughs> shift down here, pick up the weeds, and toss them over your neighbor's fence. If you wanna make that exercise harder, come down a little bit lower and shift all the way over here. And then as you come up, lift this leg and toss those weeds over that neighbor's fence. Um, so that's a little weight shifting exercise. You wanna go forward as well as backwards. So you can stagger your feet here and get into a good shift going forward and back, getting in that weight shifting. I like to add in a big arm swing here, an exaggerated arm swing to really work my balance. From there, we can work on some agility or some quick movements with our body because if our body, if our balance was thrown off, first thing we would do is weight shift. Next thing we would do is we'd take a good step to protect us. So we want to work on some of those stepping reactions and those agility, those quick movements with our feet. So um, first things first, we can do some practicing of taking that good size step in different angles or different planes. We want, that we want that muscle memory to happen and that quick signal from our brain to our body to happen. So I'll go in a um, variety of different planes here, taking a big size step, stepping together. Big size step, stepping together, same thing. Huge step on the way back. You don't want to shorten that step on the way back. You want to make sure it's a big step. Um, and then come back together. You can change up the speed and make it a little harder. See if you can still get that quick step in there. Um, and then you could go different angles with that one. You can also go all the way forward to all the way back. So all the way forward to all the way back through. All the way forward to all the way back through. Making sure that you are really working on the speed and the size of your step and staying pretty stable. You can do these exercises holding on to start, holding on fingertips on the wall or on the countertop if necessary, and progress from there. You also wanna work on a little bit of agility or quick movements with your feet. So I like to do so by pretending I have a line on the floor in some different ways with some quick movements. So first thing we'll do is we'll pretend we have a line on the floor going this way. We'll take some quick steps forward and backwards over that line. Quick steps back and forth over that line. You can also do some just quick little side steps. Quick picking up both feet with some small but quick movements. You could pretend that line is going straight in front here and go diagonals. I'm gonna get a little low so I stay in view. <laughs> Yep, good. So you can work on moving your feet and quick movement. Something like 
tennis or pickleball or even just tossing the ball against the wall or the floor at home um, is another way to work on those quick reactions and those quick stepping and the quick movements and agility. And then finally, we do want to talk about our stationary balance, our static balance, standing on one foot. It should be a goal. Um, the norms say that we should be able to stand on one foot with our eyes open for 10 seconds all the way up into our 90s. So I challenge people to hold it for about 30 seconds if possible. So it's easy enough to practice a minute a day, once on each side, standing on one foot. If you're not quite there yet to work on that standing on one foot, the easiest position to do is starting with your feet together and hold it from there. The next way you can do it is go with one foot slightly ahead or all the way ahead. And then you can work on your kickstand, just putting your toes down with all of your weight through this foot, this leg and this hip up nice and tall, but putting a little bit of weight on your toes just to hold you if you're not quite ready for your single leg stance. And then the final option is that full single leg stance position. So you can work on those, you know, whatever works for you. Do it in 10 second bouts, you know, um, be close to the wall, safe position for your body. Um, make sure you've got, you know, safe position at home. But you can try it for a few seconds, see how long you can hold it, and then give yourself a break, and then give it a couple rounds for a minute or so a day. There's some great exercises that you can do for your balance. Give them a try, and give me a comment, and let me know how they went for you. Hope you guys have a great day.